how to pack clothing for a move. Moving is one of the top 10 most stressful life experiences. Here's how to pack it up without wanting to pack it in. You will need wardrobe or cardboard boxes, twist ties, heavy duty garbage bags, shopping bags, and luggage. Optional, dryer sheets. Step one, invest in professional wardrobe boxes. They come with heavy duty clothing rods so you can transport much of your wardrobe without getting it wrinkled. Step two, gather your hanging clothes in bunches of five to 15 depending on the thickness of the clothes, and secure the hangers with twist ties. Then cover each bundle with an oversized, extra-strength garbage bag, poking a hole in the bag for the hangers and knotting the bottom so the clothes don't hang out. Step 3. Fill sturdy shopping bags with shoes, belts, pocketbooks, etc., and stash them in the bottom of the wardrobe. Use this opportunity to donate to charity any clothes you haven't worn in the past year. Step 4. Pack any clothes that are stored on shelves in your luggage. Toss dryer sheets in with packed clothes to keep them smelling fresh. Step 5. Leave light clothing items like undergarments in their drawers. On moving day, remove drawers, carry the now lightweight dresser into the moving van, and then replace the drawers. Secure the drawers with packing tape for the trip. Step 6. Stash inexpensive clothes like t-shirts in large garbage bags or cardboard boxes. Be careful about using discarded boxes. If they stain your clothes or bring bugs into your new home, it's going to cost you a lot more than if you just bought new ones. Step 7. Label all your clothing boxes with the room or place where they should go in your new home, like the master bedroom closet, and hope that everything makes it intact. Did you know the average American family moves every 7.5 years?